We often jump in and go start solving this problem, and we don't know what success truly looks like. We don't know what the outcome is that we're trying to create. So start to define those and be very specific. By this day, at this time, we're going to create this much leads, revenue, reduce my churn, increase client satisfaction, increase my ENPS, whatever the thing might be, but put specifics around it. Chances are you're gonna go, well, I haven't solved it to this level before. I don't know what to put. Cool, it's a learning experience, but you should have some semblance of expectations. Let's say your closing rates at 20%. Well, I wanna get to 80%. Somebody's gonna tell you that's not realistic. It won't be me though. I need you to eventually tell me it's unrealistic. But what I need you to do is say, I want to get to 80%. Amazing. 80% is the number. Wrong, right, or indifferent. I don't care. On the other side of solving the problem, did we get to 80%? Yes or no? Well, yes. Amazing. You showed everybody. No. Cool. Why not? I overestimated. I didn't understand the process or the problem or the solve enough. I internally didn't figure this piece out. And it's a learning lesson. Yet again, we set ourselves up to ask that question. So you might not perfectly hit the success criteria that you've defined, but you're making sure during a debrief session, you can ask the right questions.